Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, we are going to show you how to make our brand new recipe for these soft sourdough dinner rolls. These are the pull apart style type dinner rolls that are so light and fluffy and buttery. They kind of have this uh, cross, the taste is a cross uh, between like a sweet dinner roll that you would get at a restaurant like O'Charlie's and the little uh, rolls that come with the Chick-fil-A biscuits in the morning, the little tiny chicken nugget biscuits. So they're just, uh, they're so amazing. I know that your family's gonna love these. And one of the really nice parts about this recipe is that you can mix the dough in the morning and bake the rolls at night fresh for dinner. So if you're interested in learning how to make these amazing soft sourdough dinner rolls, stay tuned and let's get started. So the night before you want to make these dinner rolls, you're gonna want to feed your starter so that it's nice and active and bubbly in the morning. So the next morning, about 30 minutes before you wanna mix your dough, uh, put the butter and the milk, sugar and salt into a small saucepan and melt the butter and all those ingredients together and then put it aside to cool. Uh, a lot of times I'll take the ingredients and pour those into the mixing bowl that I'm going to use and that will allow them to cool off faster than if they were just sitting in that saucepan. So the next thing you're going to want to do is add your sourdough starter and your bread flour to the bowl and then just use a, a spatula or an offset spatula to mix the ingredients together until there's no dry bits left in the bottom of the bowl. Cover the bowl and let it sit for one hour. The next step is stretch and folds. So during the first rise, we're going to perform three sets of stretch and folds 30 minutes apart. So after you have completed the third set, cover the bowl and then let the dough rise for about two hours. Now, I forgot to mention that we test all of our recipes in a kitchen that is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So if your kitchen is colder than that, you're going to want to allow more time for the dough to rise. And if it's warmer than 68 degrees, you're going to want to allow a little bit less time than that to rise. So make sure you take that into account before you get started. Okay, so once the dough has risen in the bowl by about 50%, it's time to shape the rolls and get them into the baking dish. Now, one of the things we uh, found when testing the recipe is that these rolls are best baked in a glass baking dish. They just came out a lot softer uh, around the exterior and the bottom than when they, we baked them in a metal a t baking tin. You can bake them in, a, in a, a metal tin, just you're gonna have to adjust the temperature when you go to bake. Once you are ready to shape the rolls after the first rise, you're gonna want to divide the dough into 12 equal portions. I like to use a baking scale to do this because it gives me nice even sized rolls and each portion should weigh about 65 grams. You can also just, if you don't have a scale, press the dough very gently into a kind of a rectangular shape and then use a bench scraper to kind of eyeball 12 equal portions. Now, you want to um, have your, your surface floured a little bit, not very much, because the dough is, is a lower hydration, so it shouldn't be very sticky. And you're gonna wanna take each one of those portions and roll it into a ball shape, and I just, take each one and I kind of pull up the sides and pinch them together and then turn the dough over to where that seam is on the, the work surface and then gently use my hands to shape each one into a ball. Then you will put each one of those into a nine by 13 inch baking dish that has been lightly greased with either, you know, olive oil, butter, it's your preference. And then you're gonna want to cover the dish with a tea towel and let it rise again at room temperature for about three to four more hours. And when they are ready to bake, they'll be nice and puffy and they will have risen some, but not very much, probably another 50% uh, 
from the time that you uh, shaped them. So you'll want to bake these in a 375 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes and you the tops will be really nice and golden brown and a digital thermometer uh, should read 190 degrees Fahrenheit and that's when you'll know that they're done. So take them out and brush the tops with some melted butter and then carefully remove them. They will be really hot but unlike sourdough bread where you have to let it cool for a couple hours before you slice it, you can go ahead and eat these right away. Just be really careful because they will be piping hot, but after you take them out, they'll start to cool down and you can enjoy them right away with dinner. So um, you will be able to store these at room temperature for a few days. I like to keep them wrapped in a kitchen towel or one of our bread baskets, I mean, I'm sorry, bread uh, bags and just keep them at room temperature. You can also freeze them in a freezer safe bag for up to three months. So we hope that you love these dinner rolls as much as we do. We have really enjoyed uh, making this recipe for you guys and we know that you're gonna love it. So until next time, go ahead and go make your family some of these delicious, soft sourdough dinner rolls. Until next time, bye.